more game. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. Tough loss, tough loss, tough loss. Now, I know some of y'all coming here, teacher, why I gonna be mad? You know, mommy lost. Damn, man. Yeah, we lost. We lost the Rutgers for the first time ever. Um, it is what it is, man. Um, a lot of opt outs, but that ain't no that ain't no excuse. Can't make that excuse. Everybody got opt outs. I mean, well, technically, that could be an excuse for us because let me see. Both of our safeties is out. Lennon Taylor's out. Um, freaking Safari Harvey, he hit the transfer portal. He's not playing. Um, Matt Lee not playing. Jevion Cohen not playing. We, we damn there. Quarter flag, all the depth, ex, extra depth. Then, um, but Saint got hurt. Oh, man, we still had a little chance. Um, but it is what it is. Miami lost the game. It is what it is. Um, all you Florida State fans and all you Gator fans, laugh it up. The comment section is open. It is what it is. But guess what? God damn, man, how we lose this goddamn game? Shit. You know what? I blame. I don't know who to blame in this one. I, I, listen, I'm so used to losing these bowl games now. I'm, I'm, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm so used to losing these bowl games now, man. This, this shit frustrating me. This. Shit. That running back for Rutgers literally had his way with us. Plain and simple. Literally had his way with us. But if you listen to the commentator, you listen to the stats that he put up all year. He's a he's he he leads the um the Big Ten in rushing. So uh, with all of our players like Leonard Taylor not on the line and no extra depth and no extra depth at the linebacker's position, also the you know veteran guys that played this year. You know, no, nothing against the younger guys, but you know we we haven't seen them much all year, so it is what it is. My guy ran for like 160 yards on us, and that, that that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. That's how we lost the game. Um, first half was terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, made us a little push towards the um the end of the first half, but the beginning of the game absolutely terrible. I think this is one of our worst, <laughs> worst performance ever. Um, the, the, let's just address the question in the room. Jakari Brown, what do you think um, is a performance? Is he starting quarterback next season worthy? I'm going to be honest with you guys. If this was an audition for the quarterback position, Jakari, you failed, my guy. I'm, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. You failed. Now, I understand the offensive line, you know, two major opt-outs, you know, with Matt Lee and um, Jevion Cohen, and it, it don't quite, it don't quite push the same. It don't push like that Rutgers um, O-line that was pushing for that running back, because, boy, they was pushing him down the whole field. Our, our running backs couldn't get that same um, deal from this O-line right now. Which I understand. I understand. It is. It is what it is. Oh God, man! Terrible, terrible. But Jakari Brown, I'm sorry, my guy, but we're gonna need a quarterback with some experience, with a little bit more accuracy. Um, you got to learn some clock management too. Clack. At the end of that game, we. We let too much time run off that clock, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can necessarily blame that on you, but some of that blame got to go to Cristobal. He got to manage the time better. We can't come out this game with two timeouts that was not used when we could have saved some of that time. But it is what it is, man. Kicked the um onside kick, recovered it, had a chance with like 26 seconds left, but. Let's just be honest. With Rutgers playing back, they know we got to throw the ball. Jakari ain't, <laughs> ain't done that all year. It is what it is. Um, Miami lose the pinstripe bowl, 31-24. Um, and that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. New York City, New York, Yankee Stadium. 
we just lost um 48 miles away from Rutgers, home game for them it was all scarlet and scarlet whatever they want to call it it was all Rutgers in there um you know shout out to all the hurricanes that did travel to that game that live in those areas but let's just be honest that was a Rutgers home game um yeah man don't know what to tell you don't know what to tell you jacoby george that boy that needs some 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 discipline so he needs some discipline he needs some football discipline not no um not that other kind of discipline that y'all thinking of but some football discipline my guy i don't know if he need ma anger management now the one one of those um penalties that he did get was an offsetting penalty. Now he he was retaliating, but nonetheless, man, sometimes you gotta let the ref call it on them and not you, cause they always see the one that retaliate. Fortunately, in that situation, they did see you know you got pushed or held up or you know tangled up with them, and you know it was an offsetting penalty. But come on, my guy, you've been playing football way too long now, not to understand to control your 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 emotions penalties man those 15 yarders is, is a killer now I, I must say shout out to um shout out to Rutgers number 71 Lewis number 71 in the first half you kept us alive you kept us in this game you man face what is face mask what is holding all the extra stuff now I must say this on the referee's behalf how do you not call face masks on um, the catch when Jacoby George got it? You call pass interference, but where's the face mask? Where is the face mask? And and the funny part about that is you go into the huddle of referees and somebody pointed out and y'all still didn't call it. Somebody pointed it out. Somebody even threw the flag back there. So you could have called it, but you didn't. But this is what it is. Ain't gonna make no excuse um, for this game. It is what it is. We was young. We was um, inexperienced at, at some position. We was depleted at some position. The running back position, you know, um, Henry Parrish, he did what he, he could, but let's just be honest, man. Um, Fletcher would have probably gave us a better shot at, you know, making making some bigger plays or, you know, letting making the defense come on up a little bit more so we could take some shots down the field if that was even in the plan because let's just be honest i don't think they trusted um i don't think they trusted jakari brown but god dog it another bowl loss man listen hit like subscribe get in the comment sections get in the comment section let me know how you guys are feeling miami man miami miami another bowl another loss that's tough